Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and uh, this is not Mac related, but I did find this in a dumpster a couple weeks ago at work. Uh, some people were clearing out of the building, and uh, they left all kinds of stuff, and I grabbed this, and this thing does power up, however, I did take the SSD out of it because it's in my Frank and Mac now, but uh, we're going to dive into this guy a little bit more. Uh, it's a Dell little mini tower, it's an Optiplex 780, and so yeah guys, we're going to see... Uh, how this thing uh, works. We're going to put a regular conventional hard drive in it and um, see what the specs are. So we'll be back in 10 seconds. Okay guys, so uh, here's the little thing that I got here, like I said, a dumpster at work. Uh, like I said, it's a Dell. Uh, it's an Optiplex. It's a 760. And uh, got lots of dust on it there. And uh, it's like 2010 is the date on it. And it looks like it is SATA 2 at least. Maybe SATA 3, but it's probably SATA 2. But it's got a really nice uh, it's got a nice uh, wireless card in it there. It looks like it's a, uh, kind of zoom in on it here. Zoom in a little bit here. It looks like it is a TP-Link. It's a 300 MBS, so that's pretty good. And uh, as you can see, there is a an optical drive in it there. I don't know if it works. Like I said, uh, we're going to put a conventional hard drive in it, and uh, but it does power up because when I powered this thing on, uh, it had a bunch of uh, medical information on it. I wiped the drive because, you know what guys, uh, that's personal information, and I don't understand why they never cleared everything off of it, but it's, I took care of it right away, so um, I work in the medical, medical profession, so you can get in some big trouble for that. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's a, the fan definitely works on it. Like I said, we're going to have to blow it out with the canned air here. It's pretty dusty in there. But uh, uh, yeah, it looks like it's a for PC. Like I said, this is not really Mac related, but uh, be something just a little bit different. Uh, and uh, that's kind of the see if we can get the specs on it here. Let's see if I can get this closer here. Let's see here. So it's a uh, Dell, obviously, and it's got the model number. It's L2, it's like 35P01. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't tell me a whole lot more. It did have Windows 7 on it because the stickers on the stickers on the top of it. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I'll have to Google it and see what kind of memory it has in it. Um, I'm not sure uh, what the capability is on it. I'm, I got all kinds of memory dim, uh, SSO dims and all that. And uh, we'll uh, see. Might have some extra memory I can throw in it. But yeah, so uh, it's a nice little compact unit. And uh, I'll turn it around the back here so you can see all the I.O. ports here. So let me just uh, zoom out here. So let's see what we got here. So obviously the power. And you get headphone, microphone, you get USB, probably USB 2. Uh, let's see, we got the uh, monitor out, VGA out. We got SATA out, we got a serial port out, and then we got the antenna here that goes on that Wi-Fi card. So yeah, so uh, it's got a few little things, and it's got uh, some expand and our expansion slot in it too, so you can put something else in there too if you want. So yeah, it's very good. So yeah, so let's um, see if we can find a drive to put in this thing. We'll have to format the drive, and I do have. Uh, Windows 7 on it. 
And also on the front here too, there's some other stuff here. You got the uh, optical drive. Here's another bay in here. You can put another type of drive in it. Uh, USB again, headphone, microphone, power button. And uh, yeah, so yeah, very compact. Not too heavy. Be about 10 pounds, not too bad. So anyway, um, yeah guys, so let's uh, get this thing, uh, let's get a drive in it and see so, what we can do with um, it. I got this uh, Western Digital. It's an it's an Apple drive. It's a 640 gigabyte. It's a it's the only one I have. It's a SATA, so I'm going to have to stick this in there. I hate uh, it's against my religion putting an Apple drive in a PC, but oh well. We need to see if this thing, with this thing, uh, how laggy it is, or you know how quick it is. I need to you know find out more specific stuff on it. I do have a little PC tower. That was given to me by a friend of mine. It's a, uh, it's actually bigger than this one. This is a little more compact, um, little mini tower, and uh, might even just take the drive out of that and uh, stick in it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll format this one and uh, we'll see how that works. Okay. All right. So let's get this thing in there. All right. So we got that drive in there, and we. I put my System 7 install disk on it, and then I got that uh, the old Enyo monitor that's out of the uh, the Franken Mac. I got the new monitor in it, and uh, so I'm using this one. This will come in handy to use do diagnostics. So anyway, I just got it kind of laying there, and so what we're doing is I had to go into the BIOS and and uh, put the CD as the first boot priority, then the drive the second boot priority because I think that's got uh, a, uh, I think this has got Catalina on it. I was, had an installer on it, but I can uh, format it from here anyway. So just waiting for it to boot up there. And we're gonna install Windows 7. We're gonna do the 32-bit. I don't know if this is a 64-bit machine or not. This has the Intel Pentium, let's see, uh, I think it's a, I'm not sure which one it is. I'll have to, again, when we get into the system, we'll be able to, uh, to take a look at it there. Okay, guys, so we got Windows 7 on it. Okay, all right, now we can see it better. So I'm going to get this up real close here so we can see the uh, system properties on it. So it's got a uh, Pentium R dual core and that's the it's an E5300 260 gigahertz and let's see we have 4 gig of RAM uh, 3.21 usable obviously it's 32 bit operating system uh, no pen or touch input devices enabled for this display and uh, yeah all right so yeah so uh, it's a dual core okay so yeah so that's the that's the specs on the uh, computer there and uh, it's a tiny little monitor guys that's another reason why I went with the 10 inch and the uh, Franken Mac there and uh, by the way the Franken Mac is uh, all done um, I haven't decided when we're going to do the world premiere on it, but we will do one on it. And then you guys can ask all kinds of questions. But yeah, so anyway, just getting back to our subject at hand here. This little uh, Optiplex Dell Mini Tower 780 uh, seems to be working okay. It loaded up windows actually pretty quick, I was surprised. Uh, it only took about uh, maybe 20 minutes to put the system on it. And uh, I do have my Apple uh, hard drive in there. It's a, it's a 7200 RPM. But the Wi-Fi card works fine on it. It's on my Wi-Fi network. And uh, so, uh, you know, sometimes I, once in a while, I'll use a PC for, um, for certain things. Not very often, but it's just nice to have it. it. I use it like for a bridge machine if there's something that I needed to flash. And I can only do it on a PC, then we got it. Um, but that's about the only time I use them. I really don't play with them that much. Uh, we, of course, we all have Dells at work. We have the all-in-ones, you know, the poor man's uh, iMac, is the way I call it, what I call them. Um, 
but anyway uh, and we have Windows 10 and uh, we have nothing but problems with it because every time they do an update on it none of our equipment works on it we're on a cloud-based server and last year it got hacked the, the place that we that stores all of our stuff so that was interesting so they we migrated to a new server this year and uh, so far no problems but anyway guys all right well anyway yeah so this was a successful install of uh, Windows 7 on it uh, I'm not gonna go f with the 10 hours of updates on it because you know it is no longer supported but there are some updates you can still do on it um, and it does work uh, optical drive works it works fine and the uh, only thing I have to do is go back into the BIOS and set it to uh, read the um, the hard drive number one on the list and the optical drive number two so other than that guys we are done so anyway I uh, hope you uh, like this uh, video here in fact I'm, I'm actually doing the video as we speak here as I was waiting for it to upload there and uh, so you know be a, a rule of thumb you never know what you might find in a dumpster. Uh, the day me and uh, one of the co-workers at work, we went out there and they threw, an old TV, they threw a TV away in there, but it started pouring down rain. And uh, otherwise I went in there and I would have dug a bunch of more stuff up. There was a monitor in there, but it looked like it was pretty trash. So I didn't even bother to take that. So, But uh, I was kind of skeptical if this thing even worked. And like I said, when I plugged it in, it powered right up and I had that. Uh, Samsung uh, SSD drive in it, the solid state drive. So I yanked that out of there, got that in my Frankamac, and uh, like I said, that thing's working like a champ. I've been doing some tests on it. It's running, running, seems to be running okay. I'll, I'll, I'll play with it a little bit longer, but it uh, seems to be doing okay for the moment. Uh, the fan, you can just barely run it on it. It runs really quiet, which is good. Uh, it's getting all kinds of air because the cover's off of it, obviously. But uh, yeah, guys, so. Hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, also, just want to remind you guys, the 500 subscriber microphone giveaway is still going on. If you want to comment on video 27, please comment. And like I said, when we get to 500 subscribers, we will do a live giveaway on it. And uh, it's a really nice microphone. It's the USB version of the Yeti microphone even comes with some software with it so you can do some voicing over or some professional editing with it which is nice right out of the box it'll work on macintosh it'll work on pc right out of the box no drivers required and so anyway yeah guys and um that's been a pretty good uh, pretty good find i'm really impressed that i found something that actually works and wasn't destroyed uh, there's not even a dent in this thing I don't know why they tossed it. I guess maybe they got some new systems. Not sure. But hey, my their loss, my gain, as they say. And uh, so yeah, guys, so so there will be another video coming out next week. And uh, until then, you guys have a great weekend. This is Sunday of July 5th. And I uh, hope you guys had a great July 4th. Uh, sure was noisy around here, but we had a good time. All right, guys, have a great rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.